let us continue with our lesson and today we'll go and learn about the another data type which is a number and it is quite special data type in a Kotlin. So let's go and see how to make use of a number data type in a Kotlin and why it is so special. So what I will do is I'll create a var and I'll say as a, let me say as a my number, num, yeah, my number and I'll say explicitly mention that this is a number data type in Kotlin and I'll say as an initial value of zero. So we have declared a variable of my number and which is of a number data type. So why is special? Let's go down and over here I will just say as uh, my number is uh, equals to 10 is, and that it can accept and if I say my number and I will just say as uh, minus uh, 120, 100, 100, uh, 1200 it can accept it and I'll say my number sorry n u m and sorry it should be my n my number is equals to 10.02 f okay it can accept it and my number and I will just say as a decimal value of 10.25 it can accept so that's the uh, special about the number that the type and it's a super class for all of our other data types that we are using as a number. So we can make use of a byte, sort, int, long, and float, and of decimal. And we can assign the value to our number data type. It can accept any of the numbers that we are using previously. All of this sort, uh, sort, long, byte, int, float, double. And if you just uh, go down and you just uh, see if you want to check what is the super class that it's coming from or a data type it's coming from just press ctrl shift and b from your keyboard then you can see we have a number so it's, it's, it's a super class for all the platform classes representing a numeric value so any numeric value that you can you want to represent you can make use of a number data type so it can hold any kind of numeric value that you want to assign you want to assign a negative number, positive number, a floating point, decimal point, any kind of number that you can make use of, you can make use of a number. So that's why it's a special data type in a Kotlin that we can make use of. So that's all for this video and we'll continue with our lesson on our next video. Until then, have a great day.